State Bar of Arizona. How may I direct your call? Will we do license and regulate all the attorneys for the state of Arizona? Good morning. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi. Do we have all the depositions? Lawyers on call. How may I help you? I'm Jennifer Dugan. I'm the receptionist here at the State Bar and I'm the director of First Impressions. The State Bar is unable to give any attorney referrals, but I can give you some resources you can use to find an attorney. I answer phones. I greet visitors, members. I assist and transfer calls where they need to go. Let me direct you to membership records and they can guide you just one moment. I try and think. If it was my grandpa or my cousin calling, I would want somebody to take the time to help them. Good morning, gentlemen. How's it going? Hi, I'm Mike Ballone. I'm the Procurement and Facilities Manager for the State Bar of Arizona, and I am responsible for the comfort, safety, and security of all the employees at the State Bar. Since we're going to have a fire inspection at some point today, we have to make sure that these rooms are are pretty clear. Looks like a cabinet delivery, probably for the new tenant on the second floor. Uh, will Cox have to come out here again today? Do you need roof access this morning? Uh, we try and uh, we try and keep the grounds uh, taken care of every day. Uh, parking lots are kept clean and clear. Uh, cleaning every night, uh, day porter service as well. I think that uh, as people approach uh, the State Bar Building, I think they're uh, they're met with uh, a facility that's aesthetically pleasing, and I think it upholds a standard. Uh, you know that we like to achieve. I am putting the miles on today. Oh there is class today in the CLE Center. Class runs from 9 until 1 o'clock so we'll have guests checking in. Um, yeah, between now and 9 it's about 8.30, 8.35. Just what we expected. Last name? And your name? Down the hall to the right. We have Wi-Fi in the room. You'll see the login information on the slides. Hi, I'm Jennifer Saunier, the State Bar of Arizona Distance Learning Coordinator. I run the control room during our CLE webcast and make sure that what happens out there in our classroom is streamed all over the state and all over the country. For our program today, we brainstorm the topics that we are seeing on the ethics hotline, in discipline matters, or just in general sort of topics that we think lawyers need to know about. You know, we actually use a sharing network with our affiliate inReach and we have a lot of people from Minnesota that watch our courses. Um, we have people in Korea that watch our courses, in England. Um, it's really nation, nation and worldwide. What's the best way to, sh to show that fees are reasonable? I'm Pat Salen. I'm Director of Special Services and Ethics and Deputy General Counsel here at the Bar. This morning we are preparing, we are presenting a CLE seminar uh, that we call Ethical Trends. Lawyers have to receive at least three hours of ethics credit every year to meet their mandatory continuing legal education requirements. Um, we're going to be talking about fees, withdrawing from representation, cloud computing, client files, social media, of counsel issues, um, running a law office. I'm Billy Tarasio. I'm a member of the State Bar and I'm here today for a State Bar CLE. I come to these CLEs because they're really a great source of valuable, useful information. They're really always up to date. They're um, immediately tracked on my bar website, which is very useful. Um, and, and it's just a great source of information. Would you like to speak directly with the CLE department? Hi, my name is Katherine Jendrasak. I'm a resource center agent at the State Bar of Arizona. So for your email, I can definitely change that for you right now over the phone. My name is Manuel Espinoza. I'm a resource center agent, and my job is to answer questions for members. I'm Sulema Busio, and I'm a resource center agent and we are here to assist members with um, everything from CLEs to their membership yearly dues. Well, I'll go ahead and change your email now then if you'd like. If you're on the home page, you'll see on the right hand side, find a lawyer. Si yo hablo español, dígame. Y eso lo va a conectar a los agentes. We do get many Spanish-speaking um, calls from the members of the public. Also, Maricopa County Bar has a referral service. We provide resources of legal organizations, um, direct them on our website on how to find an attorney. Uh, a lot of do's and rules questions, as well as member login information and IT stuff. If you have any problems, let me know. I'm Jared Stoltz. I'm the help desk technician here. I insist, assist employees with uh, technical issues with the uh, computer systems, phones, and uh, things of that nature. I also assist uh, members with email issues and any issues they have with the website. I do more of the uh, hardware support as uh, opposed to the software support. So basically a piece of paper uh, got jammed in the fuser for the printer 
So we try to pull it out piece by piece. If we can't get it, then we have to disassemble the actual printer. I spend my time all over the bar. I'm Merritt Basala. I'm Chief Bar Counsel at the State Bar of Arizona. I oversee lawyer regulation. I just don't know how you say you can manipulate the legal process for an inappropriate end game, and it's only an admonition. All lawyers in the office meet weekly to discuss cases that are ready for review. I'm not sure it's excluded from diversion, but at the same time, it's pretty bad. The assigned lawyer who did the investigation in the case will present it to the other lawyers. This was highly litigated for years. We'll have an opportunity to discuss the substantive issues involved in the case, ask questions about the investigation. Are these respondents still employed at the same law firm? Really vet the charge to, to ensure all of us that we are handling it appropriately before we make the recommendation. The lawyers in this office take these matters extremely seriously. We understand the impact that we're having on a lawyer, and we want to be sure that we've gotten it right. Before we make a recommendation on a case, we want to know that we've turned every stone, we've considered every issue, and that we're making the best recommendation we can on a case. I'm John Furlong. I'm general counsel at the State Bar. I'm in charge of legal services and special services, and our department handles fee arbitration, client protection fund, uh, the ethics hotline, and conservatorships. We're here at the cycle shop. It's about a block and a half from the bar, and this is where we store all of our conservatorship files. Well, the conservatorship files are files that we've secured from attorneys uh, that have abandoned their clients, that have been disbarred and abandoned these files, that have been deceased, and there's no one to take care of um, the, the client files. And so we, we keep these, we inventory them, and we try to get them back to the clients as soon as possible. Not all the files are in good shape. Occasionally you will find files that are located in an alleyway, uh, located in a horse stable. We've actually had to rent a pitchfork at one time to get a bunch of moldy file boxes uh, into a trailer. Uh, those boxes we were able to destroy without trying the inventory. But, but uh, obviously sometimes we don't find files in great shape. My name is Alberto Rodriguez and I'm the communications coordinator and my primary functions at the State Bar is to handle our public relations from writing press releases, letting the media know what's going on with the bar, to handling our access to justice programs. Lawyers on Call, how may I help you? Lawyers on Call is a two-hour phone bank. It's a partnership between 12 News and the State Bar of Arizona. Um, you do need to make sure that you actually yes. record it once, once signed and notarized. We come in and we recruit volunteer attorneys who really uh, are a resource for the community. I take it the will just says split everything in equal shares for my children upon my death. Consumers have the opportunity to, to call in and get their questions answered regarding a specific legal topic. This evening we have uh, state planning attorneys who are answering viewers questions regarding wills and trusts. Now sometimes an irrevocable trust is not amendable. You're on camera. I'm John Phelps, Chief Executive Officer and Executive Director here at the State Bar of Arizona. Serving the public in the legal profession does make for one busy day but more importantly, it makes for an important day. 23,000 members, all with different needs and wants, and thousands of consumers looking for information about how to find a lawyer or how to file a complaint. Whether they're calling into the Resource Center or walking in the door, our responsibility is to meet their needs or solve their problem. The employees here take that responsibility very seriously. But we also consider it an honor to be an important part of a legal system that is highly respected, not just around the country, but around the world. The State Bar of Arizona, Serving the public, enhancing the legal profession every day.